Boxing Day sales are nearly here, so I thought I would just share with you some of the thoughts that I have to hopefully save you a lot of money. So yes, there's about to be a massive frenzy of sales and shopping and news and articles and things coming out just like Black Friday and you're going to get caught up in the hype. So I thought I would just say stop, take a breath and listen to a few things that I have to say because it might help you reconsider a few things and also hopefully save you a lot of money. So Boxing Day is the day after Christmas. And sadly, in South Australia, it's actually a public holiday. So it's on our calendars as Proclamation Day, even though it's not really till the 28th of December, but anyway. And so our suburban stores are typically closed. In the city, Rundle Mall, things like that, they are open. Stores can select what they want to do. But again, you'll need to check your local on what's going on. Smaller businesses might be open. I think they have the option. I'm not really sure. Things keep changing all the time. But overall, and the way that I've grown up, I've known it to be a public holiday and nothing is open. Also, out of respect for my parents that worked in retail for like 30 odd years, I will not shop on a public holiday. It's just something I've been brought up with because also I figured all the shops were closed. There's no point going to the shops if the shops are closed. So I just do not shop on a public holiday. Reading some traditions online, Boxing Day is the day that they give out gifts to the poor. And according to comedians and other people, Boxing Day is the day that you box up all those toys that have broken on Christmas Day or are too noisy and you just want to get them out of your house and you box them up and return them to the store. <laughs> Online shopping is such a big part of our lives right now and it is where a lot of bargains are to be had. Inside retail stores they're even changing the way that they do a lot of things. I noticed that the reject shop and BW started clearing out their products already the day before so it's no longer get into the shops on boxing day to get the sales. The sales have already started so if you're aware of what's going on you'll start looking around and seeing a few things. A few tips that I have for you guys is to one write a list of things that you might be after like Christmas cards, wrapping paper etc etc. These things usually super cheap because the stores are clearing them out online will have really good specials as well if you don't mind paying a delivery fee or if you're bundling up with something else and also this is when you should start planning for next year if you're looking to do special themes or colors or events and looking at shopping and stocking up I suggest you seriously sit down and think about it because there's no point buying a whole lot of stuff if you put it away in a safe space and you forget all about it or you change your mind completely the next year. I pretty much don't buy anything from year to year anymore. I bought a whole lot of wrapping paper quite a few years ago for like 10 and 20 cents each. I bought so much that I probably won't even need any for another three, four years. I don't do Christmas cards anymore. I do a lot of stuff online or I send a lot of text messages and stuff. I know it's really impersonal, but with the cost of postage and other things like that, it's just a bit crazy. Or I will hand make a card because I think that's just as nice. In store and online, basically anything that is Christmas themed is going to be the biggest discounts because they want to clear it out because they're waiting for next year's stock. Some people will buy tea towels really cheap and then use that to wrap up a gift because it saves on wrapping paper, but also then that is an additional gift as well as the thing that they're giving. So think about that when you're shopping, if there's anything Christmas themed, if you're thinking that you'd really like a platter or some glasses or something specific for next year, Boxing Day is absolutely the day to get it to get the best bargain. If you can shop online, it is a great way to get a lot of research and information out there about what's coming. I'm noticing that a lot of shops are starting to release information about what their sales are going to be. They won't release the actual sale till Boxing Day, but a lot of them have said on Christmas Day, all the information will be there so you can be ready to jump online and shop on Boxing Day. 
I highly recommend you sign up to any company and any email that you want information about. I know Spotlight's already released their information that it's going to be launched on Christmas Day. The specials they can get. Big W's done a bit of a sneaky peek. There was a Kmart sneak peek at one point. So lots of places are basically saying, hey, we're having a sale and this is kind of a gist of what we're doing. Don't forget to come and shop with us. Makeup and beauty and clothing are things that go big on sale on Boxing Day because it's pretty much ending a season and they're about to start a new. So they really, really want to clear out the stock that they have. Be aware, however, that their Boxing Day sale goes for a week. So do not panic that you've missed out because usually you've got time to jump on and check it all out. I know that last year I jumped onto Morphe's website because they had all this makeup for like 80% off. It wasn't so much about the brand, but it was about the fact he was an eyeshadow palette with 32 colors in it that I could get for $14. And yes, it was branded as a name, as a YouTube person, but it wasn't so much about that. It was the fact he was 32 colors in a palette for $14. I got a couple of other things, added it all together. I ended up with free delivery and I only paid $62 for about six pieces of makeup. It was such a massive clearance. It got put into the Markdown Addicts group. So if you're not a member of that, I highly recommend you go and join. I jumped on and purchased that. And there were people on there that were saying they were still shopping three, four days later for these things. So it's not like everything kind of went. Some things do um that's just the luck of the draw unfortunately but still i'm finding that a lot of people were still able to get bargains and after that week some things were discounted even more so it's the gamble do you shop now and get the discount or do you wait and hope to get a better one it's tricky but that's what you need to weigh up if you are online shopping, I highly recommend that you pair it up with something like Shopback so you can get cash back on your shopping. I'll leave my link down below and I'll do a video explaining more about it in detail. But basically, you click on it, look for the deals of the day. If you want to shop from that store, you click on it, it will take you to that store, you purchase what you want, and then it will process the cash back. It does take up to 90 days to get your refund, but at the end of the year, if you save them all up, it's a great little bonus and basically you're getting money back in your pocket for buying things that you already were. Make sure you set a budget because this is where budget blowouts can happen. And two, write a massive list like the Black Friday sales of everything that you think you'd like, track the prices and watch them and see what happens. I think that you'll find that a lot of the sales repeat from time to time. So yes, while well, Black Friday and Boxing Day sales and the excitement are all amazing, they kind of repeat themselves down the track with some things some things are absolute bargains, absolutely, but I know that they're working on the marketing of the FOMO, fear of missing out. So just stop, rationally think about it, write a list, and hopefully <laughs> you have some self-control to not shop and save a lot of money. I'm sure that a lot of people know that the shops are going to be absolutely crazy when it comes to the Boxing Day sales. So if you're going near a Westfield, maybe ask someone kindly, could they please drop you off and then come back and pick you up if they don't live too far away because those car parks are an absolute nightmare and some of them have designated staff car parking that they will block off so you can't go into certain areas and just fighting for a car park you thought it was bad at christmas it's still bad on boxing day i really hope some of the things i've shared with you today have made you think about things a bit different maybe take pause or get super organized to shop and save a lot of money or save even more by not buying anything at all let me know what you do if you pick up a bargain if you don't shop anything at all 
I personally don't need to buy any new decor, wrapping paper, cards, etc, etc. I probably will go to the shops two or three days later because I know that the family will have gift cards and money to spend. So they'll be looking at sales which go for like a whole week. <laughs> so when I'm missing out, if it's not on Boxing Day, a lot of them will go sale extended. So... Don't be in such a hurry to get there day one because things are still going to be there. Sorry to say. I hope that you've really enjoyed today's video. I've enjoyed sharing my thoughts with you guys and I look forward to seeing you next time.